everyone. Today I'm going to venture into my backyard because it's a beautiful day. I was going to shoot outside there, but everyone's doing their lawns at the same time and it's really loud. But I'll show you my herb garden in a minute because it's kind of coming back from last year without me doing anything to it. But today I'm going to make a recipe that has vitamin D in it. And I wanted to explain the difference between vitamin D2 and D3. Now vitamin D2 is what you get from food. So you can get it from mushrooms and different kinds of fish and things like that. D3 is what you get from being out in the sunshine. Um, so when you take a supplement for D, it's usually D3 because a lot of us don't get out enough into the sun to absorb it into our skin. But this recipe today will provide you with some D2. It'll also have omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, and B12. And what I'm talking about are sardines. So we're gonna take sardines that are just in a can and we're gonna make them into a pate and it makes a wonderful pate or a dip or a spread for bread. And it's a great thing to put out at a party, but it's also a great little snack when you're stuck in the house. <laughs> so come join me and I'll show you how to make it. So my garden's looking like a little bit of a mess after the winter, I just kind of left everything here, but some of my herbs are coming back. My lavender's coming back. Rosemary has been blooming all winter because it's an evergreen, but I'm so excited because my chives are coming back and they have chive flowers on them. The little blossoms, they haven't bloomed yet, but they're so delicious. I'm gonna put some of them in today's recipe. The ingredients I'm using for the sardine pate is I have a can of sardines here. They are skinless and boneless. I'm gonna use a little bit of shallot, a tiny bit of lemon juice, some chives, and a little bit of scallion. I'm going to mix them with some mascarpone cheese. You could use cream cheese if you want to. You could probably even use regatta. And a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Let's do this. I chopped up half of the shallot, one scallion, the two little chives that I had as fine as I could, and we're going to squirt in some lemon juice. I drained the sardines and put them in this bowl. I'm just going to get them started by mashing them up a little bit with a fork before we combine the other ingredients. Sardines are very flavorful. They have a very strong flavor. They're packed with omega-3 fatty acids, so they're really good for you. And I think this pate is a nice way to enjoy it if you don't want to eat them straight up because they are very strong. Now, if you see any bones or tails, these were already cleaned ones that I bought in the can, but if the ones that you have have tails or bones, just remove them. They're very soft, but just remove them. I'm adding the shallot, chives, and the scallion. Get all the good bits. I'm adding about an ounce of the mascarpone cheese. Just a nice big spoonful. I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. We're gonna add a pinch of cayenne. And now, I'm just gonna press all this together. If you feel you need to, you can add a little bit more of the mascarpone or the cream cheese. See how it's forming a paste? Just mix it up well. I think that's a nice consistency. And now you can spread this on toast, on any kind of bread or crackers. And it's a really nice Mediterranean treat. I'm gonna put this in a nicer bowl now, and I'll show you what I mean. And I'm gonna slice up some of this beautiful Italian bread, and I have some entertaining crackers here. These are super delicious. And we'll make up a little pate plate.
you for joining me today. I hope you tried that recipe for yourself because it's really easy and it comes out super delicious. <laughs> Please share this video with your friends and see if you can get outside today even for a little bit and try to soak up some vitamin D. And I'll see you soon. Bye!